the 1920s, the prohibition years, violent gangs were gaining more and more power by the trade of illegal alcohol. It was a tough time for the average Joe, but not for me. My name is Vinnie Canoli, and I make an honest living as an enforcer for the mob. But it ain't all fun and games, of course. One time I got a call from a mob boss called Mr. Beluccio. He needed me to come to Thugtown and find some guy named Frank. His name is Mr. Thugtown. There was something wrong with this city. Strange reports had been coming in about bizarre incidents and gruesome murder cases. Violent rioters had overrun entire areas inside the city, and it seemed the officials had lost all control. It's been days now since the last contact, but nevertheless, I had a job to do. So here I was, about to step in a freaking nightmare. What's going on up there? How's this for an offer you can't refuse? Gun.
freaking bastards! around here. for you.
I don't have to clean this mess up! Thanks for saving my ass from being turned into supper. Don't mention. But who are you and what the hell is going on here? I haven't even set one foot ashore and they tried to bite it off. I hear you, pal. I've been stuck up here for days now. My name's Rusty. All I know is people all over town started turning into friggin' zombies after St. Patty's a couple of days ago. Before we knew it, the whole town was overrun. The only thing holding out is the gangsters, you know, armed to the teeth and all. Yeah, you picked a hell of a time to pay us a visit, I can tell you that. Yeah, well, I ain't here for the architecture. My name's Vinny Cannoli, and I'm looking for a guy called Frankie to fly. Perhaps you've heard of him. Oh, yeah. Frank. Always in trouble, that kid. What are you looking for him for? I gotta find him and take him straight to the big boss of the Beluccios. The Beluccios? <laughs> You're on the wrong side of town, pal. Their turf is on the north side of the river and it cuts Thugville in half. You want my advice? Get the hell out while you still have a pair of legs to do so. Can't do that. They pay me a lot of dough to get him there without so much as a scratch. So I guess he's got to be pretty important to them. And that makes him important to me. So can you get me to him or not? I think I know where he is. But it's too dangerous out here to talk now. Meet me at the pawn shop at the end of the harbor. It ain't far from here. We'll talk there. <laughs> 